Mitochondrial Eve. Okay, somebody just mentioned mitochondrial Eve. Uh, I always joke at saying gone about every every uh, fourth man is a preacher, and so they always got some issues with Adam and Eve and Jesus and all the rest of that. <laughs> That's all right. But we know if you have you know three classes in genetics by now, you know that the uh, the beginning of Homo sapiens sapiens, which is our species, uh, started in Eastern Africa somewhere around 300,000 years. I, I had the 200,000, but it really goes that much further back. And then about 70,000 years, Africans begin to leave the continent to populate the rest of the world. So for some some 200 plus thousand years, there were no human beings, our species, on the earth that were not in the African continent. So you can imagine 200, 230,000 years the mixing, the migrating, the matching, which is why we easily have the largest uh, um, genetic diversity of anyone on the earth, because everyone else is, is 70,000 years or less, mm -hmm. and then you gotta remember part of that time they were still us, you know, before ice ages and all the other things changed the population and went out and spread around. So I like the children to know that. So when they see Julia Roberts playing Eve or whoever they got on there, hey. they know that this is a farce, yeah. that uh, we don't, it's impossible to get us from them. This, this, you know, and anybody yeah, can figure that out. And the one way you know that is that uh, right here in Black Africa, you, ha you have al what, albinos, or albinos they call them, mm -hmm. you know, because we produce every range that there is. And yes. so, but anyway, the main thing is for the children to get another image of Eve and the parents of humanity mm -hmm. in their minds. Of course, a lot of the men say, where's Adam? I say, yeah, come on. <laughs> yeah, let's, like, let's be real. That's on the other side of the wall. We'll <laughs> okay, I'll, we'll keep moving. Chin so yeah, we got that. Chin Chebe, a lot of y'all have probably read Things Fall Apart, yeah. Angels of the Savannah. Things I just like apart. to let the children know that, you know, these are one of the greatest writers out of Nigeria that they're going to read in the future. Uh, Asa Hilliard, who knows Bobby Asa Hilliard? I met him. I know him. Bobby Asa yeah. Hilliard yeah. got to a lot of us young. Yes. And the amount of impact that this man had over the years, I don't think uh, we can even begin to measure. I was like a black power child, you know what I mean? There you go. Years old. There you I go. Heard Ace and now I'm a black power, African civilization, Pan African, you know, all of the There you go, Jerry. Kind of coming, coming together, you know. So uh, Ace gave us a reading list early and said, you know, you guys get on this. And we did. Uh, and uh, he's just so impactful. And he's also, as you can see, I was uh, installed in Ghana too as a, as a chief down in the central region. Yeah, I'll always so remember Asa. Asa Hilliard and uh, all love and respect. Yeah, I'll always remember him. Uh, yeah. yeah, I met him when I first joined the movement. That's right. Yeah, 2004. I think, um, if you, are you all going to, you're not going to Kamasi? Uh, yes, we're going to Kamasi okay, go in a Kamasi, few days. You'll find out more about her. She's the queen mother of a Jisu, uh, which is there by Kamasi, the Ashanti, the Ashanti queen, uh, known mainly for her resistance. Uh, against the British and for him, her imploring her men and her people to keep fighting uh, for the sovereignty of that group. Uh, Didon Kimathi, uh, most Ghanaians will have heard of Kimathi because Jerry Rawlings named his son Kimathi, but um, we know him from uh, the Kikuyu Land Freedom Army or the Kenya Land Freedom Army, uh, what they used to call the Mau Mau when we were coming up, you know, and they used to use that term derogatory to, yeah. in a derogative way we were coming up, you just a Mau Mau, you Mau Mau in or whatever. But that's what the British call this Kikuyu Land Freedom Army. Be that as it may, uh, he fought from the hills, the streams, and wherever else he did guerrilla warfare to try to, you know, uh, push these people out, these British especially, who've come and taken all of the best land as settler colonists and all the rest. So this picture was taken when he was, uh, after he was bound and ready to take off to where they are. But he, you can see he maintained that defiance the whole way. Uh, and Zynga has uh, been encouraged by hearing people name their daughters in Zynga. And Zynga was um, kind of like the Ya Santo of her day, but we're going back another 400 years. This is when the Portuguese were first coming online to take over land and, of course, try to take people out to places like Brazil and the rest. Ya Santo, uh, I mean, uh, I'm sorry. And Zynga. and Zynga was one of those that tried to stem the flow of African. Uh, My niece outside, is in Zynga. Outside of our uh, Ajete, Ajete, if you looked at, uh, let's see how we're going to do this. 
Actually, they need to just go relax upstairs. It was supposed to come at 12. It's all good out. They can join a party. We're trying to yeah, get, know. Okay. you know. Okay, let's, let's keep moving. Ajete. Ajete was a um, soldier. A lot of the African soldiers fought in World War II, along with the British uh, and the Americans. And, and they defended places like Burma, where they basically ran the Japanese out. Uh, but when the war was over, and war was won by the so-called West, um, they never got their retirements, didn't get their money. You know how they promise to you while you're fighting, and it's all over. Brothers, three of them uh, led a march uh, to the capital. They were murdered by a, a, a British uh, major. He was the more senior of the three. And that sparked the Accra riots. And that's when uh, the, the place went wild. Uh, they started in, in jailing and crewmen and all the rest. And you know, it was really the beginning of the unraveling of the colonial order. And so uh, Jet is the kind of uh, tip of the spear. Maurice Bishop. Who remembers yeah, Maurice Bishop? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, now that's good because most people uh, coming through here from the U.S., especially a lot of the students, they know you know, they, they wouldn't have heard it because they, even though it was America that invaded Grenada in 1983 and destroyed their uh, little revolution that the brothers were putting in place, uh, that's just uh, washed out from our books. But anyway, Maurice Bishop uh, led what they call the New Jewel Movement, uh, raising literacy, uh, health care, uh, all of those kind of things, economic um, uh, opportunities inside the country. And of course, he was killed because he was providing a good example that they didn't want replicated. The last thing they wanted was a, a black Castro in the Caribbean. Uh, Nomiton or the Amazon Warriors, a lot of people have seen this movie now uh, called um, the, Woman King. the Woman King. And so. Uh, Hmm. Okay. Can we hold a second? Yeah. All right. Edward Wilmot. Oh, okay. So a lot of y'all have seen the movie of the Woman King and all of that. I didn't see the movie. Come from LA. I never trust Hollywood. I'll, I'll but, get you a copy. So I didn't, uh, that's all right. I, uh, <laughs> I saw I'm sure you'll love it. Trailer I didn't like, and so I couldn't. I couldn't get past that. You love anyway, the action part. You know they struggled against the French, you know, in terms of the colonial order. Uh, Edward Wilmot Blyden. Also from uh, the Caribbean Islands, Virgin Islands, St. Thomas. Uh, really one of the intellectual fathers of Pan-Africanism uh, as we know it. And um, uh, if you ever read Christianity, Islam, and the Negro Race, that's really one of his seminal works. Uh, even though he, was, he made his career mainly in, in Liberia and in Africa writing. He was a Liberia. leader, educational leader, and all of the rest. Steve Biko, usually when I get here, none of the children have ever heard of Steve Biko. So, you know, that's really something. Here we are in Africa. A South none African of the legend. children have ever heard of Steve Biko. Uh, so I have to first introduce, not, not just Steve Biko, I'm sorry, they've never heard of apartheid um, at Whoa. all. So here we are in Africa with all these African students. They never, ever, 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 ever have heard of apartheid. They can tell you about Queen Elizabeth's uh, shoe size, mm -hmm. that one, they got that down wow. for the apartheid. So, I believe, so imagine I have to go through the whole discussion on apartheid before I can even talk about Biko being an anti-apartheid activist. Okay, all right, great, 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 great. So 